Good morning, everybody. Uh, for those who can't read, my name is Megan McDonald. I am DPR at Suzuki Auto, and I would like to welcome all of you to the Suzuki stand this morning. Thank you all for being here. I would like to first highlight a few really important people in our lives who are here not as media and not as dealers, but as special guests. Monty, where are you? Hi. Rayno, Eric, Vic, Stephen, I haven't even seen you. Holy oh, yeah, Stephen's late. Barent, um, Michael, Umkhip, who um, currently owns the oldest Jimmy in the country. Arthur, Marcel, Um Jimmy, I can see over there. Um, Greg, who's also floating around here somewhere. These are Suzuki ambassadors, these are people who do it for us. I'd also like to welcome back to the country our managing director, Mr. Satu, who flew in from Thailand this morning and looks awake. Um, please, if you haven't tried the giant killer coffee, which we have especially created for you, you'll have some time after this event to try it. It is magnificent. It is a special Jimny brew. Not some random stuff. We have created this for you. I would like to give a shout out to our team, by the way, this is off script, for actually buying us biodegradable plates and cups. Yeah. Thanks guys, we're all away. So I hope you all enjoy it. The time has now come to introduce you to the new journey.
please allow me some time to explain in a little bit more detail what the new Germany is all about. A car that has always been a one of a kind and been loved the world over for, more, for almost 50 years. With exceptional off-road ability, maneuverability and fun, fun to drive characteristics, it's been 20 years since we last saw a new Jimny. So let's see what this new Jimny has to offer. Born in 1970, the Jimny soon became a game changer in the four-wheel drive scene that at that time had been dominated uh, by high displacement, large capacity engines. Loved around, loved around the world from the very beginning, it only underwent two model changes in the last 50 years of history. The new Jimny carries on with its heritage of small, lightweight, authentic off-roader and is a masterpiece of the 4x4 technology. Uh, through the years, the Jimny might have had a few different faces, but there's one thing that the Jimny has always been, and that's fun. The new Jimny is a better car in every way, and Suzuki engineers have listened to customer feedback um, and made a, a lot of effort into making this Jimny, uh, the new Jimny, so much better, but, but still being a one-of-a-kind car. When tackling the job of making the new Jimny a Jimny, but still a better Jimny, the engineers had one goal. Make the world's smallest, toughest, one and only real off-roader that can go anywhere. We think they nailed it. The Jimny is the one and only. Simplistic design, functional interiors, and honoring the heritage of the Jimny was at the core of the design process. The new Jimny was certainly born for this. Besides looking absolutely amazing, functional design is what mattered most. The square body improves all-round visibility and especially in rough terrain and harsh conditions. The strong body and ladder frame chassis is built to last and do not compromise on off-road ability in any way. While doing that, the new Jimny draws substantial design from its predecessors. The now circular headlights and the freestanding indicators are a direct takeaway from the original LJ8, uh, sorry, LJ10. The clamshell bonnet and horizontal design hops back to what is probably the most famous of all the Suzuki's to be sold in South Africa, the legendary SJ. The original giant killer and the car that garners respect like nothing else when you pull into a 4x4 event. The almost square slats in the bonnet is an ode to the current journey. The car that has since been available in South Africa locally since 2008 has made many, many non-believers fans of the Suzuki brand. He did the baits around campfires and in parking lots, on, on, on parking lots of 4x4 tracks and behind keyboards have made this Jimny a future classic and a car that has opened up new adventures to thousands of South Africans. At the rear, the new Jimny has done away with the taillights in the rear door pillars in an effort to create more space. By positioning the taillights in this way, the rear is wider and more spacious, spacious. In addition, the squared off design also makes the car look a lot like the SJ from the 1980s. A more robust Jimny than ever before and one that is set to be a future classic. The new Jimny is offered locally with both alloy and steel wheel options. <coughs> Taking feedback from customers who enjoy off-roading indicated that steel wheels allows more practi practicality and the ability to conduct repairs in hard to reach locations. The styled steel wheel is almost a direct copy again from the SJ that was available in South Africa. Furthermore, the blacked out look adds a um, sense of purpose while looking great. Looking at the color options that are available in South Africa, the new Jimny will be available in a wider variety of colors than ever before, with three two-tone options and a total of eight colors that to ensure that no matter what your look is, the Jimny has your color. Looking at the two cars on display here today, a great deal of effort has gone into these two colors. Not only because they look cool, but in practical day-to-day -day applications as well. The kinetic yellow to my left is designed to stand out in low visibility, making it ideal for rescue teams, support cars, and maintenance crews. While the jungle green on my right was designed to conceal uh, those who protect our wildlife and forests. Looking at the exterior dimensions of the new Jimny, the wheelbase has remained the same at 2,250 millimeters, while the overall length has actually decreased by 50 millimeters. 
making the new Jimny even more maneuverable for city and off-road driving. The overall height has increased by 5 mm, but taking into account that the new Jimny doesn't have roof rails, the overall increase is even more than that. The new Jimny now also incorporates a full-length drip rail, allowing for more mounting options for roof rails. The full rail also allows better utilization of the roof space. The new Jimny's wider stance gives the Jimny a strong appearance and squared off design. The front and rear track has increased by 40 millimeters, when the overall width increased by 45 millimeters. This higher and wider design allows for smarter use of the interior space while still keeping the Jimny super compact and super capable. Exterior details like the more upright A pillars, squared off wheel arches, vertical side windows and the unique clamshell bonnet make the Jimny look clean, contemporary and exceptionally well proportioned. On the inside, front and rear occupants will find more comfort and better use of the available space. Front and rear occupants have, front occupants have 30 millimeters more leg room while the rear occupants can see a 40 millimeter increase. Attention to detail has also been given to the rear passenger hip point to, to, and the increase in overall height uh, makes for a less cramped rear passenger experience. The Jimny has never claimed to be a spacious vehicle, but clever use of materials, better packaging and better utilization improves interior ergonomics substantially. The new dashboard design above all else is strong and functional. Strong horizontal lines strengthen this philosophy to create a clean, well-appointed well well interior me, that improves on tactile quality. Switch gear is easy to operate even while wearing gloves, while the storage options are also designed for better storage of smartphones and other iPhones. The meter cluster harks back to the SJ series from the 80s by incorporating a high visibility orange display and two standalone binnacles. Chrome metallic finishes create a high quality interior that is built to last. Furthermore, the chunky steering wheel will be a welcome upgrade to current Jimny owners. Door panels are designed to be functional and robust. Resin door trims are minimized and the steel door panels are revealed to complete this tough design. The dip window lines Increased visibility and the door grips are designed to provide solid support. The horizontally aligned armrests give a strong, rugged impression. The instrument panel is segmented into upper, middle, and lower black interior layers, which are precisely designed to serve different purposes. The new Jimny is also the first Suzuki in South Africa to, to, to make use of the new SLBA or smartphone linkage display audio system that features a 7-inch touchscreen display for intuitive operation. Located on the circumference of the panel factory uh, uh, is a convenience options for the power, the volume, the home button, and voice and command settings. The system is also CarPlay, mirror, uh, MirrorLink, and uh, Android Auto Ready. Uh, and please note that the cars on display here today are pre-production models, so they're not equipped with a, uh, a touchscreen radio just yet but they will be part of our model lineup at a later stage. <coughs> the 55mm 50, taller seat backs and wider cushion frames contribute to better shock absorption. The seat bolsters provide firmer support at the hips, while the shoulder area is intentionally flat to allow free movement of the driver's body when the vehicle tilts on uneven terrain. The seats are also narrow at the shoulders so that the driver can look back with ease. The sliding range of the front seats is now 240 millimeters. The backs of the rear seats and luggage room floor are coated with plastic. This, e this, is, this makes for easy cleaning and stain removal. The rear seats can also fold completely flat for the first time. Five utility screw holes are available on both sides of the luggage space under each quarter panel window. These screw holes can easily be utilized for owners to develop mounting systems, racks, and other custom storage solutions. Q1 D. <laughs> Additional mounting points are also available in the luggage floor area. Those of you who are familiar with the current journey will notice that the, real, that the rear wheel arches do not protrude into the luggage area at all on the new journey. Other luggage options include 12 volt accessory socket, a removable luggage box, 
and the toolbox that is easy to, to remove in emergency situations.